Hi, Nick Christie here, laid back rider. Um, just gonna talk to you about the equipment I'll be taking on my St. Marlo to Nice trip, which is only just over a couple of weeks away. I did a short video on the spares that I'll be taking. Um, I've added to that um, a brake cable, inner brake cable, and also an inner uh, gear shifter cable just in case as a added extra so um what i'm going to talk to you today is the rest of the stuff that i'll be taking i'll be taking my phone which is currently what's being used on a little gimbal stand um, it's just a, a free vision uh, mobile one which helps things track and keep you nice and uh, stable when i'm doing these kind of vlogs and uh for the small amount of space and weight. Um, it's, it's something that I've only had a week or so, but I can see it's gonna give me uh, a lot of use. It also means I can pop it on a little tripod next to the trike and uh, have a chat from there without having to try and hold it and set it all up. Anyway, enough of that. I'll also be taking one of these, which is a little GoPro. Um, it's a little session five. It's on a little, um, ball and socket joint and I've got a mount on the trike so hopefully get some action footage from that. The two main things are gonna be my luggage which is in these two bags here. As you can see they are Ortlieb, is that how it's pronounced? I never know how they pronounce the name. Um, they're the City Roller, um, in fact they're front panniers but they're, um, they're small and uh, I used them when I did John O'Groats and Land's End and Land's End to John O'Groats and had enough space in them. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So, I have got a small towel. And uh, in this bag, in fact, what I'm gonna do is empty it all out rather than take it out a bit at a time. And I'll talk you through it. Okay, um, so seeing the towel, I've got also three pairs of socks, cycling socks. I've got two vests, um, which are just the quick wicking ones. I've got my bowel cancer uh, research cycling top, which is um, what this is all about. Um, doing the cycle ride to raise money and awareness for Bowel Cancer UK. Um, you can get lots of details on what to look out for on their website and I do recommend that you go there and have a look. There is a link on my website which is www.laidbackrider.co.uk um, and uh, obviously there you can donate. But let's continue. So on top of that, Okay, sorry about that interruption, doorbell went. Um, uh, our Bowel Cancer UK cycling top. I've also got a very nice Lacol um, jersey, which is ultra, ultra lightweight, hoping for some good weather. Um, and then I've got a fantastic reverse gear Recumbent top. Um, they're in Canada. They've uh, been really supportive. Um, the great thing about these over the normal cycling tops is that they have got pockets at the front, which is really handy. Uh, uh, super comfortable. Now, on top of that, I've got a pair from Reverse Gear Cycling. Again, a pair of inner shorts um, which uh, must be in the other bag i've got a thicker lacol top so that's one two three four cycling tops that's probably a bit excessive but my view is that if i've got the space i'll take an extra couple of tops because they won't be tops that i'll be wearing just in the daytime, I'll wear them in the evening, so I've got a chance to wash 
and so on and so forth. Now in this bag, I have also got a pair of fingered gloves and I've also got somewhere um, a pair of unfingered gloves. Um, I suffer a bit with Raynards, so if it is a little bit chilly in the morning, I just might put the fingered gloves on. And again, they don't take up a lot of space. On top of that, in that first bag, I have got some energy bars. I have got one, two, three, I've got 18 with me. And these are the Velo Forte ones, which are all 100% natural and absolutely delicious. Again, I was lucky enough to get um, a really good discount on those. So I have got 18 bars with me as in for the first six days, three a day. Um, I don't know whether that'll be enough. I'm hoping that I'll obviously be able to um, eat and stop, but just in case I've got them with me. And then what I've done is I've sent another 18 out to my halfway point so that I don't have to carry all of them with me. And the final thing in this first bag I've got is this, which is a, probably hear that, a hard plastic ball. Uh, reason I've got that is I've got a really tight calf at the minute and uh, it's a yoga ball. I've been using that to roll out my muscles. It's fairly small and compact and fits in the bag so it'll just give me uh, something to do in the evening um, as if I would probably need anything but um, it will hopefully just keep me on track. So Let's have a look at the other bag. Oh, sorry, one final thing is I have got a wrist strap which my iPhone goes in. Um, the reason I've got that is just as backup more than anything else because I've obviously got the cycle computer which I spoke about is uh, Hammerhead Carew, um, which is brilliant. Um, I can see it really well. It's got a nice big screen. Um, Obviously, if anything should go wrong with that and I lose my mapping on whatever, I can pop my phone on my wrist and I can use the map there because I've downloaded a full map of France without any navigation on. I know what town I'll be going to, so I can just navigate um, using that if necessary. It's an offline map, so uh, hopefully that'll help. Right, just shoveling that all over to one side. Let's get the other bag and have a look at this. By the way, the weight of these two bags together, um, fully loaded, uh, is six and a half kilograms. So that's not too bad. Um, my weight of my spares is uh, two and a half kilograms. So between the two of them, that's nine kilograms. And I've lost 10 kilograms in weight since the beginning of January. So my view is that um, cycling, it feels like I'm cycling like I did at the beginning of the year without any extra luggage. Well, that's my view anyway. Um, two seconds. Before I move on. I use these which um, are the Kong um, PWRs. They are power banks, um, but they also can double up as lights. I've got a, a light for one of them, and then I've got two others. The view of these, I don't know if you saw the other um, video I did, and sorry, I'm rabbiting on now. Um, the other video that I did, but I use one of these plugged into my Carew computer, and it just keeps it charging, because using the mapping, all day, um, as any of you have probably um, noticed, if you use Garmin or whatever, you soon drain the uh, battery. But the Carew can charge uh, as you go, as it were. So um, I've got these, they're small, and they also fit onto a bracket, and I'm gonna run a cable. Obviously, not really gonna be able to do that if it's raining, but fingers crossed it won't be raining all the time. Um, and uh, while it's not, then I can slip those on. Okay, just before we open the other bag, uh, fingerless gloves, heart rate monitor, 
And this is a little black bag that I can strap on the side for my essentials. Um, it's a camera bag, uh, but it's got a great big Velcro bit, and I've got a strap running down the side, and I can just put money, wallet, phone, and iPad. That's the only thing I haven't weighed, this bag, um, but it's gonna be under a kilogram. Okay, moving on. So let's open this other bag up. Just tip all of this out. Sorry, could be a bit more organized. So, pair of comfy soft shoes. As I explained in the other video, um, that's just in case for cycling shoes, which I'm quite happy to walk around. They're not road ones, they're SPD ones. But if they get soaking wet, it's nothing worse than putting them back on after you've had a warm shower and some dry socks. So those weigh next to nothing. Um, very flexible and lightweight. <clears throat> I've got a long pair of tracksuit bottoms, just thin running ones, which I can use around the bedroom in the evening or if I go out and it's a little bit chilly. I'm a bit prone to being bitten by insects. So uh, if it's particularly insecty in an evening, I might wear those instead. A very lightweight, similar, long sleeve, um, casual top. And that's the only sort of um, evening wear, if you like, I'm taking. I have got a pair of shorts which um, I can use those inner um, liners from reverse gear cycling um, I can use those inner liners in those shorts as a spare set of shorts um, should I need them and likewise those lightweight long trousers if it was really chilly I could put those on with the inner shorts in having said that I have a pair of leggings, uh, cycling ones, which I can take off if it starts in the day a bit chilly, I can wear those. And I've also got some arm warmers. So that's that. And then that's my proper pair of cycling shorts. Again, reverse gear cycling. Um, these are brilliant on the trike. I can't rate them enough. They're lightweight haven't got the big bulky pad, which you don't need on a trike, um, certainly not on a um, recumbent trike um, that I've used. It might be different if you were on a two-wheeled recumbent, um, you might need the pad, but um, certainly on the big comfy mesh seat on the ice trike, you definitely don't need anything with a pad. In fact, it, it almost makes things worse with a bit of chafing with the pad not being squished between you and the saddle and staying in place the front part of the pad tends to move and cause a little bit of chafing so not not ideal on that um oh i've got one of these uh as an evening top um got a little wallet with passport and stuff in that's in that bag and then electricals i've got several leads for all of the various bits and bobs but what I have got in this little bag of electricals is one of these um, so it's got a multi port so I can put loads of um, USB cables in it plugs then into the mains and it means that I can charge everything at once um, without lots of different plugs because that will just plug in and I've got a, an adapter on there already from the UK plug that plugs into there and then it effectively gives me six outputs for USB leads um, so I can charge six things at once but well, in fact I can charge ten things at once if I need to I'm not even sure that I've got ten things but if I did have I could charge them all because I have got also some of these cables which basically are two outputs for one input and then I've also got the little um, iPhone adapters on there so I could technically charge a micro USB and an Apple 
uh, device at the same time. That might or might not be useful. Also, if one of your cables gets damaged, an Apple cable, obviously I can put one of those adapters on a normal cable and uh, that'll keep me going. So that's the electrical bit done. I've also got a couple of short leads, which you might have seen, which basically go from the power bank into the cycle computer. And then just toiletries. Uh, on top of that, I've got a bag full here with just basic stuff in. Got some um, deodorant in there. Um, I don't need to show you that. Disposable razors, um, toothpaste, toothbrush. I've got some Arnica gel. I've got some Micropore tape. I've got Paracetamol and Brufin. I've also got, hopefully I won't need them, Steri strips and some gorse plasters. I've also got a little bag with some wet wipes in it. Um, I've also got some medication for my uh, Raynards, and I've also got one of these, which is the electrolyte tube, um, but I've got that full of um, magnesium tablets and vitamin D tablets, which is what I take daily. Um, Hopefully I won't really need the vitamin D tablets, it's going to be nice and sunny, but you never know, I take them daily, so I've got a little stash of those, enough for the whole ride, and I think that's it. I don't think there is anything I have forgotten, but please message me um, uh, either directly um, or uh, via the website, there's an email address, um, and let me know if there's anything else you think I need to take. Um, and uh, wish me luck. Uh, if you haven't already, um, I can't thank you enough for all of the support you've given, but it is for Bowel Cancer UK and it is for cancer research. So please donate at www.laidbackrider.co.uk. Thanks very much for listening.